Hello everybody. In this video we're going to install a, a small 350 watt inverter um, so that way I can power 120 volt AC items. Um, I'm going to eventually need to replace or clean this battery. It's um, from 2011 and it looks pretty corroded but um, it still works so I'll keep using it for now. Um, to help mount everything I have put some velcro stuff here on the bottom of the inverter and I have a, a velcro you know the other part of the velcro thing that I'll be mounting up here on the fuse relay box so what I will do is clean this spot a little bit and mount this but I'm probably gonna cut a little piece off here because I want to use it to, to mount something else which I'll show you in a moment Before actually mounting the inverter, what you want to do is check to make sure that it'll fit and and that the um, hood can shut down and that nothing's going to hit like that bar there. I've already checked it and I've laid it out and I think um, putting it like this will be a good spot for it and it seems to work. So I'm going to clean this relay box cover. I'm just using a, a paper towel with some water on it. It's pretty dirty down here. And this is just being done so that um, when I put the Velcro down, it'll actually stick. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is take my Velcro figure out how I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to lay it down like this somewhere. But because I don't need all of it, I'm going to trim off a piece that um, just maybe about um, an inch or so off the tip there. Maybe half, an inch and a half. Because I need to Velcro something else and I'm going to use the piece from here. So let me go ahead and trim that. Okay, I, I'm not going to be able to trim and film so I'll go ahead and pause it for now. Here you can see that I've uh, cut a piece of the Velcro off. This is the fuzzy part right here because on the bottom of it I have the the burly part that will actually stick to it. Now the reason I trimmed it is because I'm going to be using this, this little piece, to mount my phone inside the, the car. That way I can have, you know, the phone ready for use for GPS or whatever. Um, I could have just put the whole thing down, but I didn't need it, so I'll be doing that. And how you mount this stuff is you just basically peel off the back and just stick it there. You can pick up the Velcro almost anywhere, but I, I usually pick up my stuff at um, Walmart. I think the packet for this was about um, 5 or $6. I'll, I'll be listing prices, actual prices, when I um, put together the ebook. So let me go ahead and, and put the Velcro down. As you can see, I've attached the Velcro. I peeled off the, the backing on it and have attached it. Now I simply just lay the, um, the inverter there and it will hold it in place. This is just to keep it from flying off. Um, it easily comes back off. Well, sort of. Working so good there, didn't want to come off. But um, it comes back off so that the um, you can get access to the fuse box and the battery as needed. But I've mounted that now. And to test it out, okay, our red, which is our positive, is um, back there. So we're going to go ahead and hook this up. The red. Oh, wait a second here. Okay, the red. And our black is negative. And brown. Well, Hook it up there. A little bit of a spark when you do that. You see the unit is currently off. I plugged one of the, um, actually it says 110 AC, not 120, but it'll still power stuff. So um, I plugged one of the holes here because I only plan on using one outlet. And when I flip it on, you can see the power light comes on. At this point, I have a live 110 volt. Um, 
a C plug that I can use to power items. Now, the reason I mounted this particular unit here is because it has 350 watts of output. And I have a rice cooker that runs off um, 300. So by mounting this here, I can simply plug in my rice cooker and I can cook from the car battery. Now, you're not, go you're not going to want to um, run items off this, this inverter um, unless you're running your engine because when you run the inverter, it'll pull power from the battery. And if you're not careful, you could drain all the energy from the battery and then your car won't start. So when I use this particular inverter, I turn the car on and run it, and then I just run a plug out here, plug it into my appliance, and run it. Um, inverters come in different sizes, I mean different um, watt outputs, and I chose this one here because it's just um, powerful enough to, to run my rice cooker and a couple small appliances. Um, and the reason we mount it out here directly on the battery is most inverters, actually pretty much all of them, if you go above 200 watts, 220 watts, you need to run a cable directly from the um, battery to the inverter. Otherwise, if you're using less um, watts than that, like maybe a um, 65 or 100 watts, you may be able to get away with um, an inverter that allows you to plug into the cigarette lighter inside your vehicle. For example, if you have a charger for your laptop or, you know, um, some other small device that doesn't use too much power, um, you just go ahead and get an inverter that has a, um, instead of having the, the jumper cable things here that can connect directly to the battery terminal, you connect directly into the car's cigarette lighter or accessory lighter socket and you can run the inverter there. We may try to mount a small inverter inside the car itself so that um, we can run electrical appliances in there that don't require uh, too many watts. But this is here specifically for cooking. And when I shut, you know, I mean, when I'm not using it, I just power it down. When I need it, I um, start up the car and I power this thing up. Then I um, just plug in my appliance and cook. Now, what I can do or may do, I haven't decided yet is I could uh, take a, um, a power cable, a power plug, and plug it into here. Then somehow, figure out if there's a way to patch through, I could run the line directly into the vehicle. And what that would allow me to do is um, use the system, use the 110 power from the, the car's battery um, while I'm driving or, or, you know, from inside without having to come out here, pop the hood, and plug it in. Um, we'll save that for a future date um, if, if I do decide to proceed with that. But for now, just know that this is a simple way to get 110, 120 volt power. And you can run electrical appliances just by plugging into here. Just make sure you have your car running when you're using it so you don't drain your um, car battery. Check this again here. Okay, it's on. And it's off. Okay, um, the other tip that I need to, to um, remind you is when you're not using it, it might be safest to unplug the, um, the system. So I'm disconnecting everything. And the reason I'm doing that is just because you don't want to leave things plugged in in case, you know, of a short or any other um, issues. So by doing this, by unplugging it, I'm just trying to make sure that I don't have any additional problems or create problems for myself. I'll just put it here on the side. And it looks like it'll work. Get my stuff. And I can shut the hood. And there we have it. We've got a, uh, now we have 110, 120 volt um, power system installed.